Hello everyone. Let's look at this problem and solve it simultaneously. X plus Y equals 6. Equation 1. Then XY equals 6. Equation 2. But our question is, can this be solved? I mean, is this solvable? We can only find out if we try, okay? Um, what we'll do now is to make something the subject from equation 1. Let's say that y is the subject. So we have 6 minus x. Once you write this y, you pick 6 before picking x. So this becomes our equation 3. Now, equation 1 gives birth to equation 3. So put your equation 3 into equation 2. And our equation 2 is x, y equals 6. Now, we have x, but our y is 6 minus x. 6 minus x, close that. Then this is equal to 6. 6x six minus x squared is equal to 6. And this means that minus x squared plus 6x is equal to 6, right? If you rearrange. Then, we are not expected to have this negative coefficient to start first. So we multiply it by negative 1. That will give us x squared. By If you multiply by this, you get 6x, negative 6x. Right? Then if you multiply by this, you still have negative 6. Now let's bring this to the left. As we have x squared minus 6x. Okay, so this comes here to become plus 6, and this is equal to 0. So what is our question? Two numbers we multiply to get 6, and we add them to get minus 6. So if this is not possible, then we use the formula method. Our x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and it's over 2 times a this is called the quadratic general formula now how do we get our abc we'll get that from this equation the coefficient of the first term is a that is 1 the coefficient of the second term is b that is minus 6 and the constant is c that is plus 6 now, let's put all of this into the formula. So, our x will now be this negative, we'll write it out. Then, b itself is minus 6. So, we open bracket and write minus 6. Plus or minus. Then, we have b squared, which will be minus 6 to the power of 2. Minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 6. Then we divide all of this by 2 times 1 and it will still give us 2. So our x is now negative, negative is positive, plus or minus. Then we have minus 6 squared, that will be 36, minus 24, that is 4 times 1 times 6 is 24. Then we divide by 2. Okay, so if we go ahead, then we shall have x to be equal to 6 plus or minus 36 minus 24 is 12. So we write 12 over there. Then we divide this by 2. Okay, so from here, we are going to simplify the root 12 there. So x will now be 6 plus or minus square root of 4 times 3. What I've done is to bring out the highest perfect square that is a factor of 12. Okay, then we have 2 so that we can be able to find its square root. Now x is 6 plus or minus square root of that 4 will give 2. Then we have root 3. We divide by 2. Now 2 can now divide, 2 can go into 6, so that x will now be 3 plus or minus, 2 will still go with this, 
so we have root 3. So we are saying that our x is equal to 3 plus root 3 or 3 minus root 3. So from here we have the two solutions. But then we, we need to we need to put this value of x into our equation 3 so that we can get the value of y. Our equation 3 is y equals 6 minus x, if you can recall. Now, y now will be 6 minus open brackets. The first value of x is 3 plus root 3. So we we'll deal with this first. So our y now will be 6 minus 3 minus root 3 right because this negative will open the brackets negative times 3 negative times 3 will give us negative 3 negative times root 3 will give us negative root 3 so that's why will now be 6 minus 3 is 3 then minus root 3 remember that it is when x equals 3 plus root 3 that y equals 3 minus root 3. Okay, so we have this. If you want to get the other value of y, then you will go back. y equals 3. Um, y equals 6 minus x. This is our equation 3. Now, the second value of y is 3 minus root 3. So let's put it in. I mean, the second value of x y will now be 6 minus open bracket in place of x we have 3 minus root 3 now we open the bracket again so that y okay we'll open the bracket so that this will multiply everything in the bracket so 6 minus 3 negative times 3 is negative 3 the negative times negative root 3 is positive root 3 so now our y will be 6 minus 3 is 3, then we have plus root 3. Now we have another value of y, but remember that it is when x is equal to 3 minus root 3 that y is equal to 3 plus root 3. So from here we have um, the two solutions to the equation at this point we have our x and y and then at this point again we have another value for x and y thank you for watching